So you get back from the general store and you've got your pillow ticking and it looks to be about the right thickness. It's the kind you like. Uh, today I got red because this, these are going to be hunting patches. Normally I get the blue for target. So when you first get your pillow ticking home, this is a little trick uh, that I didn't learn till later in life, but you get your pillow ticking home, you want to wash it. But don't wash it in just any old detergent. You want to wash it in this. This is a uh, baby laundry detergent, and that's what you want to use to wash it. And then you don't want to throw it in the dryer. You want to air dry it. So when you first get your pillow ticking home, go ahead and wash it. Okay, so once you've got them washed, you'll want to cut them into strips. And if you've never done the measurement, a patch is one and a half inch by one and a half inch. And what I do is, on my strips, I'll cut them and I'll leave a little tab just like that. And I do that for a reason. I don't just cut all the squares and have a packet full of squares. I leave them in a strip, but I cut them just up to there. You can see each one of these is cut up just to there, see? And uh, it's a hot dip video, so we're going to be hot dipping. I'm going to mix up my hot dip mixture and show you what that's about. But that's a strip. I said a patch is one and a half inch by one and a half inch. Oh, and when you cut the uh, strips, make sure the lines are going this way. Because if they're going the other way, it'll affect you. You want the, you want the strips to be going this way, not this way. Okay. Okay, so we've got our cast iron melting pot. I usually use this for lead and stuff, but this is what we're going to make our mixture in. And I rolled these up to put in there, but we're not going to put them in now. We're going to put it in once this is boiling hot. So what we're going to need is some snow cap lard. Okay, we got our snow cap lard. And what we're going to use is a standard Betty Crocker. This is a one cup measure one cup. Get that out of the way. Here's our our melting pot. We got the one cup of lard. Okay. We're going to do our best to get that in there. That's try and make it neat for the for the camera here. Okay. So that's one cup of snow cap lard that we got going there. Okay. One cup of snow cap lard. Next thing we're going to need is olive oil, okay? And we want an extra virgin, good brand olive oil, not the cheap stuff, okay? And you're going to need a quarter cup measuring thing for that. So we got our quarter cup thing going on here, and we'll get this in there. So here's a quarter cup. There's a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. We'll dump that right on top of the right on top of the lard. Okay? And the last thing we're going to need is a little bit of ballistol. I know you know what ballistol is if you've been shooting. But it's good stuff made by uh, Nazi Germany or whatever. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this is five milliliters, so one tablespoon. So we're going to get the ballistol, okay, and we're going to fill up the ballistol thing there and dump that right on top of the lard, okay? And that's our, that's our hot dip mixture right there. Okay, so the last ingredient that you're going to need is good old-fashioned beeswax, okay? Good old-fashioned beeswax. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut us off one letter. So let's do the B to make it easy in beeswax. So we're going to cut off one letter of beeswax. I'm doing the B. Okay. You can see where it said beeswax, and I just cut off the B. I'm going to put that right in the center of our lard. And uh, next thing we'll do is fire it up, get it hot.
Okay, so once they cool down, go ahead and put them in a bush. And you want to let them dry, but not too dry. Uh, there's kind of a medium there, you know what I mean? Once you feel that they're, you know, they've had plenty of time to cool off and dry, then you want to roll them back up. But uh, initially, just hang them in a bush and let them dry for a little bit. Stay safe, stay warm, stay free. <laughs>